and I am the Chief Communications Officer for Spartanburg School District 1. I'd like to welcome you all here this morning. This press conference was called so that we can correct any misinformation that may be circulating in the community. This is not the kind of information that anyone likes to share, but it is necessary so that we can maintain the respect and trust of our community. It is important for us to be open and honest, and that is what we intend to do. Due to the nature of this matter, our superintendent, Dr. Ron Garner, will be conducting the press conference today, and he will be answering questions at the end. So at this time, I would like to turn things over to Dr. Garner. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I didn't realize they were going to put me so far back here. Uh, like you're way in, in the back, but I do appreciate uh, everyone being here this morning. Um, I felt like it was important to uh, hold this press conference today to uh, give you some correct information as, as well as possibly correct any misinformation that uh, could be uh, circulating uh, out there in the community. Um, why? Because it's very important to me that uh, we maintain the trust of the community that we serve. This is certainly not uh, the kind of information that anybody uh, wants to share or wants to report, uh, but it is important that uh, I stand before you today and be as open and as honest as uh, I possibly can about uh, what is happening. Uh, however, I, I do want to uh, make clear uh, that um, there is an investigation that is ongoing and uh, as a result of that investigation uh, I will be limited uh, in how much that I can say about uh, that uh, investigation. Uh, I contracted uh, a financial consultant uh, to review uh, the district's financial records uh, and upon uh, contracting that uh, financial consultant and upon uh, the review, uh, some discrepancies were brought to light. Uh, upon discovery, uh, we immediately began to investigate the nature and scope of these discrepancies and, and determined that uh, three payments of approximately $355,000 each were made to an out-of-state financial institution and they were not properly documented in our financial bookkeeping records. These payments, which were associated with the Leach Purchase Agreement from 2008, were made in 2013, 2014, and 2015, and totaled in approximately $1.1 million. I want to I stop there very briefly and um, reiterate and restate uh, what I just said. Uh, there were three payments that were made uh, to this company, this, this uh, financial institution, uh, that totaled uh, about a million dollars and those payments were not properly documented uh, in our bookkeeping records and as a result of that there is a discrepancy that's the discrepancy that we're talking about we're not talking about missing funds or missing money we're talking about a discrepancy in the books um, this is still an uh, ongoing investigation we're going to work to work diligently to, with our auditing firm, with law enforcement, uh, to properly uh, make sure that we report and examine uh, everything that needs to be looked at and the reason behind these discrepancies. And here's the bottom line. The bottom line is as a result of these undocumented payments, these discrepancies exist. And it has to be addressed, it has to be dealt with, and we have to uh, move forward. Uh, from this. Uh, while the, the why of, of why this happened remains difficult to understand, um, I'm going to get to the bottom of it. We're going to work hard to ensure that we get to the bottom of it and we're going to move forward. I want to I commend our finance department uh, for their efforts and diligence in navigating through this stressful time um, and the hard work that they've done uh, as a result of this. Uh, and we're going to work hard to move forward. Uh, I'm going to remain steadfast in our focus 
and try to keep our, our attention on what's important in Spartanburg School District 1, and that is our students and our staff and the community uh, that we serve. I want to make clear that um, I contacted SLED uh, on November the 15th uh, when uh, these uh, discrepancies uh, were uh, brought to light uh, because uh, the, the, it is important to determine what happened and why. Uh, I've continued to work with SLED um, and uh, they are continuing this investigation. So with that said, um, I am willing to take a few questions um, with, the, with the understanding that you know that I'm going to have to be limited in how much I can say about specifics as it relates to the situation. Tetra Financial Group, Salt Lake City, Utah. What led you guys finally realizing there was really just something going on here? Was it something you saw in, in, in numbers, or what did that really seem like? Well, the, the financial consultant um, uh, was, uh, was able to determine that there was a discrepancy between uh, the books, or on the books, and as a result of that, uh, the investigation revealed that these documents the, uh, that these um, payments were not properly documented. So if these started in 2013, is there a reason why it took until late 2018 to, to see that take place? That's part of the investigation and that's part of the what we want to find out. Has there been anyone put on administrative leave or been terminated? Or no, no one is on administrative leave at this time. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine million. Help me, forty-eight million. I'm sorry, I, I wasn't, wasn't ready for that. Forty-eight million. How much is losing a million dollars? What, what does that do to the school district? Well, it's significant because um, you know we we want to be good stewards of the taxpayers' money, and and to um, to to discover this discrepancy. Uh, it's incumbent upon me to determine what happened and why. What's the name of the consultant you guys hired? Uh, it's a private consultant, um, individual. How can you assure the trust of the, your community and public? Well, um, I want to be open and honest and um, tell the truth about, you know, what has happened. And, um, you know, preferably uh, I would have uh, liked the opportunity for SLED to get a little further down the road and be able to give us some conclusions. Um, but it didn't happen that way. And, and I just felt like it was important this morning to get you all together and just address this head on. And, you know, I, I, I want to assure our our teachers, our staff, our our students, our, our community that uh, we're going to work hard and we're going to figure this out and we're going to move forward. It's, the only way I know to do it is tell the truth. Has the district worked with Tetra Financial before? Uh, it, it, the district has worked with Tetra Financial before. What is it, in what capacity? Um, Tetra Financial Group is a, is a, um, a company that um, does uh, lease purchase financing kind of, uh, of agreements. Can you comment on whether there's any investigation going on in Utah with this company or? No, sir. All right. I appreciate everyone's time this morning um, to our faculty, our staff, our, our employees, our community members that are here uh, in support. Um, I just thank, I thank you and I appreciate you and uh, I will continue to do my mid-level best to 
uh, move forward and uh, continue to communicate and uh, fix this problem. Thank you.